The Planet Man. The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Dan Tro, the Planet Man, troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dan Tro, the Planet Man, fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. You will remember that the two space pirates, Blackie and Slick, had trapped Dan to the Planet Man and Pat Darrow in a cave on a deserted asteroid and stolen the Planeteer with Billy and Jane Darrow aboard as hostages. Billy managed to short-circuit the lock on the cabin in which the pirates had imprisoned him and Jane. But when the kids went to communicate with the League Patrol, an alarm on the communicator brought Blackie and Slick to the scene. Billy and Jane are trying to escape the pirates. This way, Jane. Follow me. Don't worry, Billy. Just you run. I'm right behind you. If we can keep ahead of them, we may make it. I can hear them coming. Where are we headed? Up forward. Forward? But that's where they are. Well, not now, they aren't. They're chasing us. If we can get them to head around toward the stern of the ship and then slip by, we may have a chance. What are you talking about? Don't ask so many questions. Just run. They're catching up to us. There they go, sir. Come on. You'll go that way. What are they... What are they going down there for? They're right ahead of us. I know it. You keep after them while I try to slip around and get in front of them. Yeah, that's using your head. I'm going. Hurry, Jane! No, you're not, you lady. I don't know how you two got out of that cabin, but this time we're not going to take any chances. Come on, Blackie. Are we going to throw them out the spaceport now, Slick? Just be patient, Blackie. You'll get your chance when we're away from the lead patrol lanes. Right now, they're still useful to us as hostages. Where are we taking them? To that cabin in the rear, the one with the outside locks. I noticed it before when we were checking the ship. I don't know what it was used for, but they'll never get out of there. Well, let's get them in. I hate this sight of them. Are you almost through, Danter? I hope so, Pat. We've only got a couple of minutes charged left in this heat projector. Wait, I think we're breaking through now. I can see some stars. Pat, we made it. Give it a minute to cool, and then we'll be able to get out. What then? Go back to the ship if it's still there. If not, we'll try to work out some way of signaling for help. Well, even if our communicators are working, their range is only a few hundred miles. They won't be much good, will they? I'm not sure how we'll do it, but we'll worry about that once we're out. Come on, the rock's cool enough now. <laughs> Do you have any ideas? I've been looking at that bulkhead. You notice that round section that's raised? Where? Right over there. I think it's an emergency gadget of some kind. What do you mean? Well, Dantro told me that one of the special things about this ship is the fact that its hull is double. There's an inner and outer hull with a space between them. That way, most of the cables and control equipment are in the hull. Leaves a lot of room inside the ship. I think that that's some kind of an entrance to the space void. Well, even if you could get it off, what could you do? Well, maybe there's enough room between the two halls to crawl around. I may be able to find some way of getting out into another part of the ship. Come on, give me a hand. See if we can move that section. What do you want me to do? You just hold that projection on the bottom there. Right over there. That thing that's sticking out. I'll grab this top one and we'll see if we can turn it. It's not moving, Dan. Let's try again. It's moving, Billy. It's moving. All right, don't talk. Let's try and get it all the way. Don't let it fall, Jim. Look out. Oh. Now you've done it. Oh, I'm sure they heard that. I couldn't help it. it. It was too heavy for me to hold. It wasn't your fault. Well, I just hope they don't come back to check. <laughs> You hear 
were sound a minute ago, Slick. Will you stop worrying about those kids? I think you should listen to me and dump them out the port before they get us into trouble. Blackie, let me do the thinking. There's nothing they can get into back there. You check the cabin with me, those locks on the outside of the door would hold a Martian bull. Yeah, but you don't know how tricky they are. How tricky or not, that cabin will hold them. Now let's talk about our plans. All right. How far out towards Saturn do you think we are, Slick? Well, let's see. It's been 27 hours since we left the asteroid. That should make it about halfway. With any sort of a break, we'll reach the rings of Saturn in about 24 hours more. Once we get there, we can contact the guys that are left of the pirate fleet to meet us and then just lay low and wait. Yeah, and when we get through, the first thing I'm going to do is dump those kids. When we get there, Blackie. Gosh, this is the deal we've been hoping for for years. There isn't a ship in the solar system that'll dare attack the planet here. This thing has more weapons and speed than the whole League Patrol put together. Just those two sonic projectors alone are enough to disrupt the whole city. That's just what I have in mind, Blackie. Our first target is going to be Marsopolis on Dimas. That's one of those two moons of Mars, ain't it? That's right. We'll sit out there a million miles in space and tell them that if they don't send off ten cargo ships loaded with anything that's valuable, we'll turn that sonic projector on it and those sound rays will reduce the whole city to a pile of dust and a half a million Martians with it. Slick and Blackie are shooting for some big things. Can Billy and Jane do anything to stop these vicious space pirates? We'll be back in a moment. So, level off. When we left the planet here, it was being piloted by the two space pirates, Slick and Blackie, who were on their way to join some other pirates and then raid two of the moons of Mars. Also aboard are Billy and Jane, who are attempting to stop these two thugs. We find Billy and Jane as they are preparing to work their way around the inner spaces of the Planeteer's hull. Billy! Billy, can you hear me? I can hear you, Jane. Is there room enough for you to move around? Yeah. It's a good thing I'm not much fatter. I could just about make it. What are you going to do? I'm going to crawl up forward and see if there's some way out of this hull. Do you think you can lift that cover? Why? Well, you've got to try and get it back on again in case those two characters come back here to check. But they'll still know you're gone, Billy. Yes, but they looked the cabin over and they didn't spot this emergency port before. They might miss it. I'm going to screw this down tight now. If I want you to help me get it off, I'll tap three times. <laughs> Ah, Slick, I can see myself now rolling into Venus Port just loaded with loot. We we'll loan the town. And they'll never suspect that we're the guys who have the planet here. Now, don't spend it yet, Blackie. Not until we have it. The way you set it up, what can go wrong? Except... Except what? I can't help worrying about those two brats. Let's go back and check. Okay, okay. If it'll shut you up, it's worth the effort. Let's go take a look. <laughs> of the ship, Dandro. They must have gotten Billy and Jane somehow. Looks like you're right, Pat. The ship's gone, and I'm afraid it's been gone for some time. They're probably millions and millions of miles away by now. Kids will be safe enough for a while. How can you be so sure of that? Slick is a pretty smart character. He knows that as long as he has those two aboard, he's safe from attack by the League Patrol. Until he's well away, he's not going to hurt them. They're worth too much to him alive. What are we going to do now? I don't know, Pat. Let's look around. Maybe there's something we've overlooked. Don't give up yet. There? They're coming back to the cabin. Billy, why don't you answer? Billy! What did I tell you, Slick? That brat is gone. You, where's your brother? I don't know. He, he, He just disappeared. What do you mean he disappeared? I was sleeping, and when I woke up, he was gone. She's lying, Slick. Why do you even bother to talk to her? Let's dump her and then find him and dump him, too. That's the only way we'll ever be sure they're not up to something. Keep quiet, Blackie. How could he have gotten out of here? Those locks are all in place. Well, maybe there's another door someplace. Yeah, we went over this place before. There isn't any door. He must have gotten those bolts open somehow and then closed them behind him. I'll find out what happened. Come here, you. Leave me alone, you big bully. Turn her loose, Blackie. All right. But I still say you ought to let me take care of things my way. You're too soft. Billy. Billy, where are you? 
nothing's happened. Well, there's nothing on this asteroid that we can use to send a signal that's clear enough. Unless we can make a mold and melt that quartz rock into it with the charge that's left in my heat ray projector. And then back it up with something that will reflect the light. Well, I get it now. A tremendous mirror. We could send an SOS out to space with it. We used to do that back on Earth when I was a kid. We need something shiny for the back, though, Pat. I I wonder... I know just what you're thinking about. My silver charm bracelets. Okay. I guess I'll get some use up here after all. Next to the outer hull. Is there a way out? No, but I think I know how to take care of those two crooks. And maybe even get back to Dantro and Pat. It looks like Billy's agile hand is going to give Slick and Blackie something more to worry about. Will Slick and Blackie be off their guard? What will be Dantro's luck in trying to set up a light signal for help? We'll be back in a moment, but first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet Man.